Good morning. It is day 29 and I'm feeling much better. So today um, definitely feels better than yesterday. Uh, we only have today and tomorrow to go before the reintroduction phase hits. Um, it's tough because I don't want to put everything being about the whole 30 that's going on in my life right now, but at the same time, the whole point of whole 30 is that it will change your life and that you will be more productive and you will find out who you want to be and you will do all these things. And um, the first couple times I did it, I definitely felt better at the end. And then I rewarded myself with a pizza or I went to camp and worked a contract where I wasn't in control of my food or anything. And I was where I wanted to be. I was directing shows and um, in like a, the best possible scenario, everything was very supported and everyone was amazing. And you know, it was like the, it's, it's basically like the Disneyland of what I would want my life to be like. Um, and, and then the second time it was like, I got through it and then it was the holidays. And again, I love the holidays and I saw family and everything was great and I felt so good. And now it's like whole 30 is coming to an end and it's life, and I think that that's different. I think that there's not an immediate thing to look forward to, an immediate existence of what I want everything to be, and I've been vlogging. So I think it's more about figuring things out the way it's discussed in the book this time for me, um, figuring out who I want to be and what I want from life, and how to make that happen and I feel like action steps right now are very important and uh, just like there's some railroad tracks and um, so yeah so I just wanted to take a quick note I'm on my way to rehearsal right now but I wanted to take a quick note to say that things are going better things feel very active and um, I don't have an answer to what's coming or a concrete actual version of what things will look like if I get what I want but I do feel like whatever happens is what is supposed to happen and I feel way more in control right now than I think I have since like high school when I was going into college and the entire world had all the possibilities in front of me um, kind of a thing so feeling good but in the middle of it and in the thick of it uh in the thick of the change whatever that is um and whether it's that it changes and I realize that what I have is what I want that would be one thing but if I realize it's not I don't know I don't know I feel very existential today and yesterday and I don't know I I went online and checked in and I think I mentioned this yesterday that a lot of people had said 28 was hard really really hard for them and that they were falling apart and that things were very be all end all and it just needed to be over and it was just like I, I, and I don't know maybe it's the whole 30 but maybe it's life I don't know but whatever it is doesn't feel wrong <laughs> and feels like I'm more in control and now I'm almost at rehearsal so uh, I will talk at you again later on tonight. Okay, so made it to the end of today. Um, the end of day 29. Tomorrow is our last official Whole30 day. Um, today had a lot of, uh, a lot of solid stuff in it. Uh, I don't know. I just, I think that, um, when I got home, I had a lot of really almost manic energy. And um, at the same time, I was a bit tired. And I just feel like everything's kind of in flux right now, um, which is interesting because it feels like uh, it feels like I'm coming through something on the other end, which I would imagine this is supposed to. It hasn't in the past necessarily. 
Um, in the past, I think it just felt like I'm so close to being done, and then I gave myself like a reward or I finished. And I think I've been talking about this a lot where it's like, I don't really know. Um, now that I'm about to approach the reintroduction phase, I almost feel like there's a lot of stuff coming up that, um, I don't know. It, it, it feels like that transformation. It feels like things are changing and moving and progressing and different, um, not completely different, but like a different version of myself, kind of different and um, heightened almost, which uh, I don't know. In reading the book, um, they talk about uh, you're going to be your best self. You're going to come out the other end, a different person, a stronger person. And I think in the last couple of days, that transformation is really starting to hit. And I think it's good um, there's a lot of drive here. Um, I don't know. It's hard to trust it. And it's hard, it's hard to let it be what it is and just see where it goes. And, um, I don't know. That's what I'm going to do with it. Uh, meanwhile, <laughs> I have, uh, on a food based, uh, topic, I have put in my new menu for plate joy. I'm about to go through my cabinets and see what I have and let the groceries come in that need to and uh, start a whole new section of that. Um, I'm going to try to also utilize what I've got and kind of, uh, I do have, I think, more than I thought I would after last week. There's a couple of meals that I didn't necessarily do the um, second versions of, and so... But I did use the, I used some of the ingredients in other recipes. And uh, especially with my birthday being this weekend, we went out more um, and less, so less on plan exactly as it should have been with the, with the meal plan given to me and more, um, slightly more spontaneous kind of using some ingredients from other things and then it's not like I could make the second meal because I didn't have all the ingredients and then kind of make shifting with what I did have and, um, using some old stuff. And I don't know, it was great. It's just a matter of not being as clean cut as I think previous weeks have been. I think the first and third week were my best as far as the plate joy stuff goes. <laughs> and then week two was out the window because of tech, uh, for the show I opened. And this week has been, uh, about two thirds of it was really good and on plan. And then that last part of it was, um, my own thing. And then my birthday and, uh, still on plan ingredients wise, but not plate joy wise. <laughs> so the stuff they sent me hasn't all been used up, but isn't exactly in a place to do, uh, those recipes again. Anyway, so I'm going to look at what the new stuff is and what I have and sort of reorganize my shopping list and then see about putting one together for tomorrow, do some yoga. I only have two more days of yoga uh, tonight and then tomorrow, and then that 31 days is over the same day as the 30 days is over for this. Um, and then I'm just in reintroduction, uh, which I'm pretty excited about. I have a plan for my first day. Uh, very excited about peanut butter. <laughs> and uh, I think I'm going to have some hummus, and um, then I've got rehearsal that night, so I'll probably hit up a Chipotle uh, and allow myself to order the beans within that salad that they give you instead of not, because uh, up until now I haven't been able to do that, and so now I will. Uh, and then I won't have to cook that day <laughs> for dinner, which will be nice. Um, anyway, we're approaching the end, and this is uncharted territory too, which I think is part of... Um, part of my up in the airness right now is that, um, I haven't done the reintroduction stuff yet. So as solid as I felt about what whole 30 was going to be, I have no idea what's to come with the reintroduction outside of knowing that once I reintroduced dairy and I could feel the joints in my knees, otherwise I have no clue what's coming. So, um, that's all I've got to say for today. I'm excited to see what's happening, curious to see what's going to happen and not, knowing is um, a little scary right now because I've known what 30 days was going to do and it did what it was going to do and now it's all like getting into uncharted waters so we'll see. 
Um, thanks for being here, though. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And uh, let me know how things are going for you. If you're on your Whole30 and you're going to reintroduce, let me know. If you're on something else and you're thinking about adding something else in, let me know. Um, if this is just a wonky time in your world and <laughs> you're feeling solidarity in the wonkiness, let me know. Um, and I'll talk at you tomorrow. Have a great night.